Hey guys, welcome back to some Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. This is the Comic Coil, taking out Goombas, um, getting my butt kicked throughout the forest here while making my way back. But that's okay because we just got that level up we've been waiting for. Did you guys see, did you guys see the damage I took? Um, that's because I've never had this happen to me before, but I did the roulette and I got three poison mushrooms in a row and it like wrecked me. Um, I've never had that happen to me in this game, ever. It was awful. But it's okay, I got my full heals, I got my 30 HP now, and we're heading our way back. We're gonna get ourselves out of this crazy town. And managed to get through that, no damage. I was hoping he would drop some flowers. That's the one thing I don't have right now. I'm minus two flower points. That's fine, I'll be able to, I'll be able to finish this up. We're gonna finish chapter four today. How does that sound, guys? Who's there? Buttface! We meet at last. Hey, Slick. Time to cancel your magazine subscriptions, because you're getting erased. Joke's on you, man. Nintendo Power's been out for years. But first, please amuse me with one more guess. It really gives me joy to watch you squirm in futility as you try to guess my name. So, hit me one more time. Alright. Well, it wasn't Buttface, and it wasn't Face Butt. So I'm gonna go ahead and guess... Dupless. I mean, that's the natural progression, of course. No, of course he got ratted out by a parrot that he locked in a dungeon. Don't you know? Oh, oh that face. I want that face as, as my icon. What did you just say? It can't be. No, 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 no. Why, why, why? How, 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 how? Don't you know all birds gossip when nobody's around. You can't just let birds know things. You should have killed that parrot while you had the chance. Oh, do we have to trek back over there now? Now it's our turn. Let's get your name and body back. Where would he go to hide? Um, is he really going back up to his room in the creepy steeple? Oh, I don't want to run all the way back there. I just came from back there. Wow, this really is the most back and forth chapter of the entire game. And I don't even have Ozzy to... I don't even have Ozzy to ride it out. Okay, that's fine. I can fight a few more daisies if it means getting back to Buttface. I don't care if that isn't really your name. That's that's your given name. That's your Gonzalez given name. And here we are, back to the creepy steeple. Um, gotta say, it really is a very different experience tra traveling around there with Vivian than with everybody else. Um, I'm really... They're really tearing me apart because they don't have... Qu Vivian doesn't have quite the immediate damage output that I need to get through there. Um... Like, her her fire fist does three damage, and with a lot of characters, I can do four damage per turn. She can only do three, and then the burn will hit them for an extra four, but it's... A I, like, need a little bit more damage than that immediately. They still get an extra attack in before they get that one burn damage. She's interesting because she has that move that makes you... Uh um, that makes you hard to hit, uh, that turns you invisible, which is kind of conducive to this area because a lot of the, like, hyper enemies let you know when they're about to do a really powerful attack. Also, she can knock these swoopers out of the air, so that's pretty cool. Vivian, would you like to demonstrate? Shade Fist. Kind of just, like, gets really tall up there. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys that before, but it it's still funny. Yeah, come at me. They come at me so slow, I, like, barely know there's an attack coming. Which I guess is kind of how they moved in, um, in Super Mario World. It wasn't any kind of, like, fast motion, like, like a Castlevania boss or something like that. You know what I'm talking about? The Vampire Bat is the first boss of the original Castlevania. There's a long history of video game characters getting pummeled by bats, but... Okay, I think I'm just gonna have to weather these bats for now. There'll be another healing thing before I get back up to Buttface's room. And there we go, we're all healed up and ready. Ready to go, ready to go. But seriously, Buttface, was your was this really your hiding spot to like run back to your dinky little bedroom? Like you can escape me. You you have my name. You can run through the pipe. You can get out of here. The world is yours now. I mean, I'm the one who's trapped here because I don't have a name. He, just very small thinking for a villain. Hey, you again, eh, Slick? You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way up here. Fine, fine. I see. I get it. 
let's just put an end to this, shall we? Alright, kids. Put on your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo! It's-a me! Sure thing, Mario. We're right there with you. Guys, did you really fall for this? Why, why did you- why do you think Mario wanted to come back to this room? Like, you have the crystal star, right? This creep couldn't take us on his own, so he teamed up with a Shadow Siren. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain Gonzalez style, Shadow Guy. Ozzy, no, I'm your dad, don't you recognize me? Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario. Ah, oh, he says Mario too, he really is a phony. Mario? This guy who stole your name and body is Mario? Uh, Mario? That means you're Mario? Yeah, I, I gotta be honest with you, Viv. Um, I haven't been entirely honest with you. I can't believe it. All this time I was helping Mario, I feel like an idiot. What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, ghoulies. Yeah, in, in fighting between shadows, I guess. I mean, I'm one of them now. Yuck, yuck, yuck! See? Your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me. Super Mario. Can't flee from this fight. I'm on my own again. Goombella, no. We've had such good times. We've had, like, three whole chapters of good times. How can it come down to this? I can't actually attack her, sadly enough. No, I can't bring myself to do it. This is on you, Buttface. You're about to be Shoe Face. Alright, doing the jumps. Ah, getting head bonked. That doesn't just hurt my health bar, that hurts my soul. Alright, you coming at me? Ah, that's a good hammer. Oh, multi bonk! She busted out the multi bonk! I taught you that move! I, I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. Oh, she came back. Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. There we go. Back for a finale. I've, uh, I've made my choice, and I'm not turning back. Can I get another Vivian join the party message? Do I have to hear the tutorial again? No? All right. In that case... Umbella, I'm sorry to do this to you. But... That's actually not the move I meant to use. That's okay. You can't fight what you can't see. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? Huh? What are you gonna do now? Gonna smash the floor? Why are you smashing the floor? You're not a carpenter, you're a plumber. Ah, uh, Goombella, you have a college degree. There's no excuse for that. Or, I, I guess you're working on a... Oh! They get a whole... Okay. The game just said no, I'm not allowed to do that. Because they moved twice, I guess. Does that, like, take up my next action? It's never been like that before. Huh, that's very strange. That... Yeah, that's strange. I didn't think it was like that. Well, let's do some healing. Let's do some sweet treat. Okay, I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't... Like, this isn't the right way to go, but I'm low on healing items. I think I have, like, one good mushroom in here. My controller is old, so I don't like the clunky sound it makes when I do this clicking motion. Clunk, clunk. Alright, six health for each. Um, that's alright. Ah, uh, that actually, that actually wasn't a good turn, but let's, uh, let's set this guy on fire. Yep, there you go. Mamma Mia, you gotta say it. Gotta say it, Super Mario Sunshine just came out, everybody's expecting it. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Well, I can partially guard. He... Yeah. Yeah, that's a super guard, Goombella. And you're on fire. You see? After all our time together, I know how you fight. Sorry to do it. There you go. Sorry. Hopefully that stomp on the head will remind you who I really am. So, is there any point to attacking the partners? You're still burnt. Gulp. How dare you try to do this to the great Super Mario? How dare you? How dare you, I? I, I know your timing down, because it's my timing. Oh, wow, she is very good on those action commands. Okay. All right. I'm going to... I can have her use the items, right? Yeah, so I'll have her heal herself up on her turn. Let's 
do... Uh, don't know if I want to bust out a special yet. Well, you know, I might as well. What else am I even waiting for? Power lift. Do you even power lift, bro? Yes, I do. So this is the uh, shopping cart move. I just got to choose the power-ups I want. There we go. Yeah, defense will help. I'm getting... There we go. Wonderful. So that defense will be good against Goombella's attack. That'll defend me. Defense is boosted. And you're going to use an item. You're going to use the super... No, not on Mario. Mario doesn't need it as much as you do, Viv. There you go. All right, Viv, you're back up to full health. That's my last mushroom, though. Ah, oh, man. The defense would have helped if I timed it right. There we go. Kimbella, you can't do anything now. That, like, already took out all the healing I used, though. Okay. Yeah, look at all that extra power. Power unlimited. You're not even going to use all of my partners, are you? you? You can't. Oh. Okay, so the, the, the smoke machine is on. It made me miss. It's protecting him. Grrrr! I've almost had it. Super Mario's hurting. There you go. Yep, you can't. Smoke machine's protecting me. Now I can see why Andrew Lloyd Webber likes it so much. It... It hides me. It hides that I actually don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Yeah, you're out of here. So, why... How... Yeah. You're not the real thing. You're like the Hotel Mario Mario. Eek! Mario! Oh, that's a good bit of... Yeah, the crowd's still cheering for me, even though they think I'm the bad guy. Oh, oh, what? He reveals his true form. Huh? Yes, my form is mine. I've been restored my color palette. I get my clothes back. <laughs> He's kind of cute, honestly. Rats! You kill joys! And jumped out the window. What? He ran away? I mean, wait, just what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario? Did we get shell winked? That... That is not a phrase, Coops. Don't try to pass that off of a- You're wearing a hoodie. You could have said hoodwinked. Screw you, Coops. How could I ever mistake my dear Mario for another? Oh, silly flurry. <laughs> oh, silly me. I just tried to murder my best friend. So, who's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the Shadow Sirens you guys mentioned? Oh, good continuity, because he never met the Shadow Sirens. Good job, guys. Good job, writers. Why would Gonzalez pair up with one of those creeps? Dude, she has feelings. Well, I, uh... Guys, Vivian's part of the team now, alright? Oh, Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. He didn't so much stick up for you as, like, nod. I mean, you could totally interpret this as, like, him walking over to them and being like, Yeah, you're a creep. Well, thanks to her, I guess he came through this okay. No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario, sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you'll have me. Yeah, I'll have you. Vivian has really joined your party now. I want to get the tutorial again, and the Ruby Star. Ruby Star is mine. This is for you. Um, yeah, I know, Vivian. D don't act like you're the one who has to bestow it on me. You have no claim to this star. And my star power is now five. I learned the special move, Art Attack. That's how, that's how you should know before, because it doesn't tell you what new move you'd learn. Or does it? I don't remember. This is the real end of chapter. There we go. So, can we get the uh, ending credits for this chapter? Mario defeated the rogue who had stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario and the four crystals has the four crystal stars. That leaves a mere three more to find. And that means his quest to collect all of the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off toward the next adventure with his new friend Vivian. But, what has Beldum and what about Beldum and Marilyn? And what became of the doppelganger buttface? Yeah, I'll save that. 
You know what this was? This was a true story about acceptance, because Mario didn't like the purple people. He was predisposed to hate them until he walked a mile in their shoes. Now he knows what it's like to be purple, and he can accept them as his friend and equal. Vivian is so very late. Where has that scatterbrain been all this time? Gah. Oh, yep, and there he goes. So can he still leave, though? Because he has his own name. It's not like he needed Mario's name to leave, but, you know, he really should have. He could have, like, left and been Mario for the rest of his life. Gotten, like, a nice cushy job at the Mushroom Kingdom. I mean, sure, they never, like, gave him an official knighthood or anything, but... Oh, hey, the main villain's on screen. I should probably pay attention to that. Are you sure about this? Speak up, x not. Yes, sir, quite sure. I poured over all our research of the Thousand Year Door, and it appears the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Beldum said. You can trust him, he's a scientist, he has a clipboard. Finally, the treasure of legend, the ancient power of darkness, will soon be ours. Listen and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star Search top priority. I know we haven't even found one yet, but... Oh wait, they have found one, though. They mentioned that. They they found the one that was originally in Rogueport, and they have it in their base. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum, who has 80% of the currently found Crystal Stars. Got it, sir. Yeah, um, you gotta wonder why they keep working with the Shadow Sirens, because they are completely ineffective. Soon, I will have the power that has slept for a millennium. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. All will kneel before the x not regime. And then I, Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect, ideal world. Yes, a world made by me. About me, and for me. That's an interesting... How do you even... Yeah, that's... Um, I'm not sure how to make that into a laugh. And back to our um, budding romance, our downloading romance. Tech, did you call me? What shall I do today? See, see, now she just, like... Now she just accepts it that she has to do weird stuff for... Will it be dancing, perhaps? Disguising? Or will I sing a song or something? I mean, I'm assuming that's supposed to be, like, kind of... Like, sarcastic. I... I am conflicted. Huh? I just wanted to say hi. What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important? Carrying out an order or protecting a critical person. I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do, really. This is why you shouldn't design your evil computers that have free will. It doesn't work. What do you mean? Um, I think he's laying it on pretty thick what he means, Peach. No. No, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do not know why, but... It makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. I totally don't have a crush on you or anything, though. Well, in any case, let's have a quiz. <laughs> a quiz? Yeah, you ever date somebody who just, like, randomly gives you quizzes? That's right, Princess Peach. Please answer the questions that I am about to ask you. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like a first date broken down into binary. If you can answer five questions, you may use the communicator as usual. What's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now, the first question. What are the launch codes? What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Um, your wish is granted, thousand year door opens, a thousand coin- No, a thousand year door opens. Correct. Now, the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, leader of the x Knots? So are we just kind of doing a mid-game recap here? Uh, conquer the world, get rich to become a superhero. I think we all want to be superheroes, but he also wants to conquer the world. Correct. Now, the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand-year door? That That's the part we don't know. Tech, is this... Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the thousand-year door? Yeah, that's the part we don't know. Nobody knows. Um, is it a lot of money, or a rare badge, or a thousand-year-old demon souls? 
yeah, you might not have known this. Uh, Demon Souls, the predecessor to Dark Souls, is actually a sequel. Just the, the original came out a really long time ago. Correct. Aha! Oh, huge plot... Huge plot point revealed in a random quiz. <laughs> now, the fourth question. What does Sir Grotus wish to do with this ancient demon's soul? See, here's the thing. He's actually trying to tell us what's going on in a way that he's not acting like he's helping us. Because it would go against his programming, I guess. So, what does he wish to do with the demon? Bring the demon back to life. Hang out with it. <laughs> he wants to hang out with it. Who doesn't want to hang out with a demon? Correct. Now, the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? A legendary sword, a magic spell, or crystal stars? I don't... I don't remember which MacGuffin actually does close it, but I guess the crystal stars. Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Alright, so is this going to tell me, like, what Mario character I am? Now, you may use the communicator. Tech, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please, input the message you wish to send. Would you like to share your result on Facebook? Okay, so typing. Uh, okay, I'm done. Could you send it? That's how you know the mail went, because it showed you pictures of mail. The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please, go back to the room. What if I don't want to go back to the room? Why did... Tech, you always decide when we go out and when we stay in. So sometimes I want to go out. You never take me out dancing anymore. You're still a weird computer, Tech. It, he's a, he doesn't understand the subtleties of conversation. You might have just really insulted him. Good night, Princess Peach. You jerk. Alright. So, there we go. Um, <laughs> Tech just kind of spoiled the entire game for us there. No, that's... It's okay to have this information. So really, we're trying to get the crystal stars so that they can't get into the Thousand Year Door. In in theory. In theory, that's what they're doing. Hey, Bowser, you made it back here, I guess. My lord! I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville. Wait, weren't they in Glitzville already? Let's ride the cheap blimp there. Come now! Or are the Bowser parts being told out of order? You there! Two tickets, one great and evil king, and one sweet young thing. G -g good gravy, B Bowser, the evil king, and a deluded old hag. I, uh, life's too short. And he, <laughs> and now he's walking on the rain on the railroad track. So there you go. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskate. You you have a broom. You can fly there. And Bowser has the Koopa clown car. Why do you need to take the blimp? Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where'd Lord Bowser go? I don't know. Do you really, like, is that the easiest way to look around by flipping your entire broom around? Okay, Bowser understands. Bowser understands they could just fly. Ga ha 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 ha! Forget that wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this baby! I snuck into Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problemo. You go easy on your old limbs and take a slow ride on the blimp, Grandma. But she she can fly too. Bowser's a dick to old people. Wait, Lord Bowser, please. Ah, now my special dirigible deluxe brown bag cami lunch will go to waste. That special deli I like the word dirigible. I'm glad she used the word dirigible. I like I like that word a lot. So Bowser's flying on a jet plane. Don't know when he'll be back again. Oh, that runs on fuel? Huh? That don't sound good. What's that warning light? I, I didn't get a chance to read the whole thing. No. Oh, Bowser, you and your antics. Oh, okay, into the ocean. Do we get an ocean level? I think I remember that, unless I'm thinking about the one in Super Paper Mario. Yeah, we get the water level now. Yep, old uh, Super Mario Brothers music. Uh, he pinwheels. He pinwheels to swim. That's great. Does that? Oh no, I'm small. Okay, for some reason I thought I'd be like invincible because I'm Bowser. Like I, uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's. <laughs> we gotta get that meat. Meat gives Bowser power. There we go. That's a proper size Bowser. So this is more like New Super Mario Brothers or like. 
Super Mario 3D World where it starts you with the first mushroom already instead of making you collect one. You know, streamlining it. Is this what the original, um, wh what World 2-1 looked like? Or is this like what the first water level looks like in Super Mario Brothers? I don't remember the layout of the first Mario level as much. I mean, the, the water one. Every it's easy to remember how World 1-1 one, one looks, that because that's, like, classic. Let's go down there. They, they do this whole, like, side-scrolling, um, like, nostalgia fest. They do that again in the next game. I want this coin. I want this coin. They also really do a lot with the pinwheeling. Um, that, that's like a running gag, kind of, in the last game, that Bowser keeps running forward and spinning his arms like that. And that's the pipe. That's the pipe out of here. Um, oh, okay. Bowser don't need no pipe. Um, Bowser don't need no anything? How do I leave the level? Oh, spring. Okay. All right. Makes sense to me. There we go. Oh, I destroyed my way up. Um. Wait. How do I... Oh, crap. How do I get through now? Okay, gotta wait for the fire to curve up. Alright. I screwed myself out of getting the top of the flag. Oh, no. For, for whatever that's worth. Okay. Fun fun. Fun finish. Hey, you made it. You're back in Rogueport. There you go. You went in a big circle. Ah, oh, ah, do. That was terrible. I gotta get in shape. Yeah, you used to be like a serious ba Mario villain. Who? Well, it's Bowser, the Koopa King. Yeah, don't worry, Bowser. People still fear you for some reason. <laughs> and Cammy had an excellent day at Glitzville. I want a Rock Hawk hat. Maybe not like that one because it looks kind of stupid. She just kind of put a badge on her hat. There you are, Lord Bowser! What are you doing here? I've been looking all over! No, it looks like you've been looking in Glitzville. If I may ask, where have you been, your sogginess? Uh, swimming. Really? Neat! As for me, Glitzville was fantastic! The fights were so cool! I was overcome! Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my mama gave me- No, why is that line in here? And then, the, the hot dogs. Oh my gracious, yummerly. You have fun too. Hmm. So, Cammy is now part of the hot dog conspiracy. Okay. And burning old ladies. Lord Bowser, is that a no? It was terrible, you hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper. I wanted to have fun. But forget it, it's over. Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars, now! Yeah, um, the Bowser sections aren't exactly worthwhile, uh, but good good fun. If you really wanted to play as Mario, uh, if you really wanted to play as Bowser in Super Mario Brothers, you know, they, there you go. It, it's in there. I don't know, I'm... Looking back on it, like, those scenes were really funny to me at the time, but I don't know, now I'm wishing there was a little more to them. I can't believe it was a fa fake Mario all that time, so we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? Maybe a little. Uh, well, all right. It's okay to be in touch with your feelings. So then, you've brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey, Mario, you need to get back to Rogueport, right? Let's go. Please, come back to visit any time you like. Uh, do I have to? I don't think I like to. Well, that was Chapter 4 of Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door. Next time, we'll get started on figuring out how to get to Chapter 5. Um, maybe pick up those, you know, side quests from the call board. But, hope you enjoyed Twilight Town. If I could just address one thing before we leave. Just listen to the music. Doesn't it, like... Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm just hearing it. But it sounds like there's Pikmin sound effects in the music in this place. There, did you hear it? Did you hear it? It totally sounds like throwing a Pikmin. 
I'm not the only one who's hearing that, right? It's a little yahoo, yahoo. I don't know. Maybe my ears are ringing. Or maybe I have to finally play Pikmin 2. 